Hi, my name is Patty Woldridge. I'm a registered nurse and I'm going to teach you a little bit about cold pressed seed oils, which I became familiar with just a couple of years ago myself. I had been looking for a long time for a machine that would actually have a cold a press that would actually squeeze the oil out of uh, any of the seeds that I wanted to process. I have um, flex seeds here. This is a Samson um, cold press juicer and I have the oil press on the uh, machine instead of the juicer press, which can be switched uh, whenever you want to. That means that your juice and your seeds don't get over 120 degrees Fahrenheit and destroy some of the enzymes and the essentials in the oils. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, I do want to make one comment. Those of you who don't store your seeds in the freezer, you might want to put bay leaves inside of the bag because that keeps the bugs away. And most of these uh, commercial joints that sell you these kinds of products, uh, there may be uh, eggs from whatever organism was on them at the time that they were harvested. So you want to make sure that they don't go hatching and crawling all over the place because you won't like that. So here we go. That worked. This will be a little bit of a slow process, but here comes the pressed seed, and pretty soon we're going to see the oil coming out the bottom here. And we're going to be producing some very fresh oils. If you've never ever had fresh pressed oil, this is going to be a real treat for you because all of the oils that you find in the stores have been processed for shelf life which means that they have been treated to 348 degree temperature, which makes them almost plastic. Now, in order for you to rebuild a healthy cell in your body, you have to have healthy fats. And those are the short chain and the medium chain fats that have uh, not as many carbons as your manufactured margarines and such. Some of those manufactured uh, margarines have 43 to 46 carbons in their chain and they're very not healthy for you at all. So we have some oil coming down here in the second uh, container and in a minute we'll have enough to give you a little bit of a taste and then I'm going to change the taste with black seed. Black seed is known in the Middle East as one of the most healing oils and seeds in that part of the world. It's used for skin, texture, beautiful hair, beautiful nails, indigestion and many other kinds of gut problems and I believe I read a statement that said that um, in the Quran it says that black seed cures everything but death. Oh. I think that's pretty comical but it does change the uh, taste of the oil and uh, it gives it a little bit of medicinal taste so I tend to like to mix it with the flax seed or sesame or any of the chia seeds or any of those kinds of uh, seeds that I might want to process. This machine will take the small seeds. It won't take the great big seeds like pumpkin seeds and that type of thing. Because there is a, a little cross piece in here that doesn't allow you to do that. Now this remnant here, dogs love it, cats love it, birds love it, chickens, quail, any animal that eats anything on the ground will love this material. I usually put it in bread and biscuits and that kind of thing because the nutrients are still there won't have the oil content, but it does have the nutrient content. So whoever wants this at the end of this today can take that home and use it in one of their own recipes because I've got lots of it in my freezer. So we're getting enough about today's, but I want this to go through first because we want to make a complete run of what I have in here, which won't take too long. <clears throat> I did have the experience last year of having this collar break on me, so I couldn't really uh, finish the the demo that I wanted to do because um, it, I, didn't, I didn't have it tightened down enough, I guess, so that was my mistake. But you can see the oil here. Janet, I don't know if you can get a shot of this or not underneath there. I don't think you can. Not without my getting this stuff all over the table. Do you want me to just remove it? Okay. See the oil filling in the container? Okay. 
healthy oils. Why do we want healthy oils? Well, all of our cells have a lipid layer. That's a fat layer. And in order to replace a dying cell with a healthy one, we have to be eating healthy fats in our dietary every day. Uh, Dr. Jerry Tennant taught me a couple years back that uh, you take 20 to 25 percent of your body weight and you do a calculation and get that calculation and you divide that by 240, which is the equivalent of eight months and days, and you move the decimal point over one point, and that would be the amount of fat that you totally need to replace healthy cells every day for eight months. You replace the rods and cones in your eyes every 48 hours, you replace your liver every six weeks, and you replace other parts over longer periods of time. So it's really critical uh, that you have healthy oils. Now, I like to change up my oils because um, my, one of my favorites is coconut oil. And uh, that's digestible for me because I don't have a gallbladder anymore. So that's the only fat that I can eat that doesn't give me a problem with my digestion. So when I use these oils, I do have to take some enzymes in order for me to be able to digest fats that are not coconut oil based. So we got something not coming through here. Um, I think I have something over there in my thing that I can use as a... No, no, not that. Let me, let me come over here and check this out. Something got hung up in there. you have to play with these critters. Okay. Make them work. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to have you guys taste this. So we're going to cut that off. But I have to, I can't shut this off right now with this like this. I'll give it to eight. Okay. So we're going to do a taste test now. 